Hey guys, and today is a new video and it is a spring DIY room decor video and I'm so excited to show you guys this video because I'm actually quite proud of what I've done and I actually really like it in my room. And if I'm rushing right now, it's because I've got two minutes to say everything I want to say because my camera is going to run out of storage. So let's hope that I can say everything I want to say. Okay. It is actually really sunny right now and I'm so surprised because where I live it's usually raining and it's warm. I'm wearing a skirt right now and I'm wearing a top with no sleeves. Like I'm not wearing a jumper. What is this? If you haven't seen my last video, there'll be a link down below so you can go check it out. And without further ado, let's go with the video. So for my first DIY, I'm going to be using some fake flowers and a paper mache shape in the letter of my name I did and a glue gun. And I got all of these items at the range. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is snapping the top of the flower off the stem and then I'm going to get my letter and just rearrange the flowers in however order I like and then I'm just going to get my glue gun and just glue down the flowers basically. So for my second DIY I'm going to need two mini packed pots, some paints of my choice, I chose green and blue, some sponge brushes and some flowers. All of the items were from the range except the flowers which were from B&Q. So I just put some paint onto my brush and I can't really explain this bit but I just painted half of my plant pot and then half of that and then half of that again. And somehow you should end up with a dip dye kind of look. You'll just have to watch it instead of me explaining because I'm not that good. <laughs> and to complete the DIY, I just put some plants in to make them look really pretty. DIY I'm going to need two mason jars, some gold spray paint, well I chose gold anyway, two coloured paints of your choice, I chose green and blue, some sponge brushes and a glue gun and all of these were from the range except for the spray paint which was from B&Q. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the lids off both of my mason jars and spray paint them gold with my spray paint. And then I'm going to plug in my glue gun and be pretty careful with this because you will burn yourself. And I just glued the shape of a flower and I thought that it looked quite pretty. And then I'm just going to be using my two paints and just painting both of the mason jars different colours. I chose yellow and blue because I thought they were quite spring kind of colours. And I gave them about six coats in the end because they really need them and the yellow needs it way more. And then I just put the lid back on the mason jars and they're easy to store things in and they're really handy. So for my fourth DIY, I'm going to need a mini basket and some mini flowers to fit in the mini tiny little basket that's really cute. And two paints of your choice and three transparent eggs I used. So firstly, I took the paper bit out of the transparent egg and I can't really explain this, but I put some water with the paint and then put that in and then I just put the paint normally in it and then mixed it all together and somehow it just made this really cool pattern and then I got my basket and put some flowers in and just rested the eggs on top and I think this is a really cute Easter DIY. So for the first part of my fifth DIY I'm going to need two cups of water, two paints of your choice, two sponge brushes and a pillow. So the first thing I did was just squeeze the paint into some water and just mix it about until it gets to this type of texture on the screen right now and then I just kind of threw it out the pillow and squeezed it together, you'll just see from right here. And 
yeah this worked as kind of the background and I just hung it up to dry and it kind of all the paint fell down so then I asked my friend Emma to just hold it while I actually get proper paint and just splat it on there and that acted as the front of it and I just hung that up to dry as well so for the second part of this DIY you are going to need a pom-pom garland a glue gun and some scissors. So firstly I'm just going to measure the garland up to the pillow and see how much I need to cut off and then cut that off and just glue gun it to the edge. It's as simple as that but it looks really effective at the end and it looks really nice in my opinion. <laughs> So for the last DIY you are going to need a wooden circle, some letter stickers and some shape stickers and some paint of your choice and two sponge brushes and a gold spray paint. Well I chose gold so So firstly I got the stickers out of the packet but I didn't stick them down yet and just rearrange them how you like and then put some paint down where you were going to stick your stickers and I did blue and yellow and just organised it how I liked and then I actually stuck the stickers down and I also stuck down some little circles on the sides and then go outside and spray paint over the top of everything trust me it looks weird right now but it'll turn out alright and then just peel off the stickers and you'll just be left with this on the screen right now and yeah voila <laughs> Thank you for watching the video, give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and be notified when I upload. If you want to see more DIYs because you find them more interesting to watch and they're quite colourful, I find they're colourful. I don't know, it just makes them more interesting. 25 seconds, oh my gosh, 20 seconds. Okay, <laughs> see you next Sunday with another video. Bye!